This video is brought to you by Samsung Display. This is the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and this is the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Two of the year's most futuristic phones, both unlike any other in the market today. And among the many things they have going for them is the fact that they almost defy the laws of physics that makes them so special. With a display that, as their names imply, folds in half, and flips back open again. I just love folding and unfolding my Galaxy Z Fold 3. And while I know that it's really the feeling a device gives you that matters most, today I want to dive in deeper, or should I say closer, way beyond our eyes can see, to fully appreciate the tech that makes these phones so special. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Before we dive into the fun stuff, it's important to first talk about how displays work. Traditionally, you need a light source. These days, it's usually an LED, a light-emitting diode. Light from the LED passes through a liquid crystal with a filter on it, and that produces color. When it comes to displays, the building blocks of color are RGB, red, green, and blue. Combined, RGB is all you need to create any color even white. And while one color dot means nothing, when you zoom out, many dots of different colors form an image, like in this Lego portrait of Moi. There aren't enough dots for this portrait to look like the actual photo. Some might even call it pixelated. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Now, OLED is much more special because you don't need a backlight, you don't need liquid crystal. OLED emits its own light, and it's capable of emitting red, green, and blue. This tech comes with many benefits. Less layers means a thinner device, and no backlight means darker blacks and richer colors. In order to look much closer at the displays of the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3, we need something special this handy dandy device called the loop. It's basically a handheld microscope, which in this case will allow us to look at phone displays on a more cellular level, if you may. Now, when the loop first arrived, I looked at displays of all sorts, phones, TVs, and tablets. It was interesting to see how RGB pixels on display panels are arranged differently. It also made me appreciate the word display tech. It's not just a marketing term. Now, as someone who considers himself a scientist, or at least someone who did really well at science in school, I would like to think of pixels on a display as cells on my skin. Now, here is what I see when I look into the loop. but I wanted you to be able to get an even closer look. So I purchased this microscope with a built-in monitor. Here's a look at the display of a popular Android phone. And here's a look at the display of a popular non-Android tablet. And now here's a look at the display of the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3. Notice the displays of the Z Fold 3 and the Flip 3 have a different pattern one that is diamond shaped. Samsung calls this the diamond pixel structure. This shape and arrangement of sub pixels is intentional. And it's this pattern or the way they're arranged that really makes a difference. This is what diamond pixel looks like. A large blue diamond, a small red diamond, and two green rectangles. I know it can get very technical, but very broadly, the diamond pixel structure is designed the way that it is so that our human eye perceives images created in the clearest way possible. That makes a lot of sense on a device like the Z Fold 3, which I use a lot to read books. See here, it's able to render text, like actual fonts, in a smooth way. So no matter how small the font, text is still legible. Also, thanks to this structure, corners on letters are smoother and don't look pixelated. Also, now that the Fold 3 supports the S Pen, it means that whether you're scribbling a note or sketching a portrait, your strokes don't look like jagged lines. This also means your phone displays sharp and vibrant images all the time. 
whether you're watching a movie, reading comics, playing a game, or previewing your photos. You get the best viewing experience possible for your Flip 3 and Fold 3's resolution. This is a polarizer, a filter for my camera. Basically, it's another sheet of glass that I screw onto my lens to reduce glare and reflections. Here's a shot taken without a polarizer. And here's another taken with one. Notice too how the saturation is also improved just by reducing reflections. Now, your smartphone's display panel usually has a polarizer, but EcoSquared OLED actually doesn't need one, thanks to the reflection blocking qualities of the new diamond pixel structure. The removal of the polarizer enables a lot of stuff. First of which is improved battery life. Because by nature, a polarizer is tinted, more light is needed to get to a certain brightness. More light requires more power. Without the polarizer, Samsung delivers a display that consumes 25% less power. Not only that, just in case you're not familiar, the Z Fold 3 is the first Samsung phone with an under display camera. Without that layer of dark film in between the display, it can finally take advantage of under display camera technology, which is another video in and of itself, maybe for another time. And that was Samsung's new diamond pixel display explained. You know me, I'm a believer that the best tech is the kind that can just fade away into the background. But for all those tech nerds out there, me included, isn't it amazing to find out everything that's happening in the background. I particularly enjoyed digging in to see what's happening on a cellular level and figuring out all of Samsung's display secrets. Now, if this is the kind of video that you'd like to see, sound off in the comments section below. As always, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.